Thank you, Honourable Deputy Speaker. I thank the Honourable Member for his question. Uh, Honourable Speaker, Honourable Prime Minister, Honourable Cabinet Members and Assistant Ministers, Honourable Leader of Opposition, Honourable Members of Parliament, uh, so allow me to provide an update on the community access roads, footpaths and footbridges uh, development program under the Ministry of Rural and Maritime Development and Disaster Management. Uh, Madam May, the community access roads, footpaths and footbridges uh, it is part of uh, the, the programs that we, we carried out in, in the rural areas. It improves community access to the main transportation network, markets and essential services. Uh, for road access, these access roads are not the rural roads used by public transport that are being upgraded by the Fiji Roads Authority. They are smaller access roads connecting rural communities, including farmers, to Fiji's main centers. Footpaths and footbridges connect communities through better, for better accessibility and improving standard of living. Approximately $2 million allocated to the ministry in the financial year 2023-2024 was for this. Madam Deputy Speaker, the breakdown of release funds and the number of projects for this financial year per division are as follows. Uh, Commissioner Western Division, your 42 projects uh, for a total of 816,578. Commissioner Northern Division, 23 projects, $607,164. Commissioner Central Division, 37 projects, 684,365. And the Commissioner Eastern Division, at 28 uh, projects with about $498,221. Madam Deputy Speaker, the funds that I mentioned uh, for the Rural Development Program is limited to only $50,000 per project. And for the question, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, the Walawanga Settlement at Wunilangi the Konrove has a total population of 75 with 12 households a 1.3 kilometer road with Itauke land ownership. Uh, part of the community that resides at Walawanga are members of the Melanesian community. And the last road upgrade at Walawanga settlement was done by Fiji Roads Authority at the Community Access Fund in 2015. Uh, the program allows FRA to work with Divisional Commissioner on the community access priority for repair and maintenance. In 2017, the program was shelved. Madam Deputy Speaker, the road access is serviceable by RSL and school pickup carriers continue to service the settlement. The road access is earmarked to be upgraded through the Office of the Commissioner Northern under the CAF program that I just uh, described in the next financial year 2024-2025. The Ministry will continue to engage with the community and Fiji Roads Authority through the Community Access Road Program to enable better access to the community. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker.